Hello and welcome back. In this episode, we'll be taking these little spider printouts that you can see here, and we'll be turning those into this giant spider miniature. Um, perhaps a giant wolf spider if you're playing D&D. And, as usual, you can find a link to the PDF file for these down in the description. So, let's get started. Okay then, the first thing we'll need to do is stick one of the spider printouts to a piece of black card. However, if you've not got any of this card, you can still use regular cardboard, but it might be worth gluing some of the plain texture to the back. But for this example, I'll be using this piece here, as I've got plenty of black card left over from another project. Anyway, all we'll need to do is cut these out. So for the head, I find it's easier to just use a hole punch to get a perfect circle. And, uh, and then we can cut the rest out using a pair of scissors. Though, once the abdomen has been cut to size, I like to give it a slight curve by bending it around a pen or something like that. So, there you go. And now you can see me cutting out the legs. Uh, there's not much to say about this part really, so I'll just do that thing where I say like and subscribe and uh, all that nonsense that I'm supposed to do. But yeah, I'll just trim off all of the ends, and that's that done. Now, if you look closely at the legs, you'll see that I've drawn the joints at these positions here. And to begin with, we're going to bend these ones inward. And uh, that's what you can see me doing in this segment here. So that we end up with this kind of thing. Next, we'll do the same thing at these joints, though because it's rather small, my fingers are getting in the way a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is what we're aiming for. Then, at the point where the legs join with the body, we'll bend that in the opposite direction. And with any luck, that should result in something that looks like this. Okay, so all we'll need to do then is repeat the process on the other side. And there you go, there's the legs all bent into shape. Right then, the next thing we'll need to do is take a piece of the plain texture and wrap that around a large drinking straw and also around a regular size straw. Next, we'll fold the large straw flat and trim off the excess from one end, and then cut the other end at an angle of about 30 degrees. Basically, something like this. Then we'll do the same thing with the other straw, and the aim here is to hot glue the shorter side of the larger straw to the longer side of the smaller straw. So, if that made sense, we should end up with this kind of thing. Okay, so if I bring in the top of the head and the abdomen, we can start gluing those into place. But, as you can hopefully see, I've tried to squash the larger straw into more of an oval shape when doing this, whereas I've kept the smaller straw more circular. And there you have it. That's the main part of the body done. However, it is going to need some fang-like jaws. So, for these, we'll glue some more of the plain texture to some black card, and we're going to punch a hole in that, but we're not interested in the circle itself. What we're actually going to do is move the punch over slightly and punch out a little moon shape. So, something like that. Next, we can take a toothpick and bend the printed side of this little cutout around that. Then, it's just a simple matter of applying a tiny spot of hot glue to the front of the smaller straw and gluing this piece into place. Um, I don't think they're called mandibles on spiders, but that's the kind of look that we're going for. Okay then, so here's the legs that we made earlier, and if I just put a spot of hot glue in the centre of those, we can then glue the body into place. And that should result in a creepy little spider like this. And uh, yeah, if you hadn't already guessed, I'm not too fond of spiders. Anyway, I've also supplied a few bases in the PDF, so you can also glue the whole thing to one of those, if you like. And uh, there you have it. There's our giant spider miniature. It obviously doesn't look as good as a proper model, or even a cheap toy, but if you need some giant spider miniatures for an upcoming game, then you can make a whole bunch of them, like you can see here, in maybe an hour or so. So yeah, that's it for another episode. Um, please do let me know what you think of these down in the comments. I, I do enjoy reading through the comments, but uh, all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.